everyone. My name is Gianna San Giovanni, and I graduated from Florida State this past May with a Bachelor of Science in Marketing and Finance. Since then, I moved to Washington, D.C. and started law school this past September. Although I'm now pretty far from Tallahassee, I've been able to help guide a few of my friends back at FSU through the process of choosing a graduate school. And so I wanted to make that the focus of this episode of Mentoring Moments. No matter what degree program you're seeking to pursue after your undergraduate career at FSU, there are a couple of general considerations to keep in mind. The first is where you want to live. Is being close to family and friends important to you? Do you enjoy a change in seasons or do you want to experience living somewhere new? Is it important for you to be able to network with professionals in the area you're studying in for postgraduate jobs? These are all questions to ask yourself when choosing where you would like to pursue your graduate degree. The second consideration is what you hope to specialize in. Look into the schools that have expertise in your area of interest and that will provide extracurricular opportunities related to your interests that you can pursue as a student. The third consideration is cost. Do you mind taking out loans that you'll pay back later or are you looking to graduate debt-free? In-state and out-of-state or public versus private tuition rates make a big difference as well as opportunity to earn merit-based scholarships or receive endowment funds. A fourth consideration is whether you wish to pursue a part-time or full-time program. If you'll be working alongside your graduate coursework, you may choose a particular school because it provides the option to pursue a part-time, online, or evening program. Ranking, I leave at the bottom of my list because although it may be helpful in landing an internship, or a job, depending on what field you go into, the other considerations I've mentioned carry more weight. Where you're going to be happy, where you're going to be challenged, and where you're interested in living or exploring are choices that are going to ensure your success as a student. Remember that you determine what you'll get out of your graduate educational experience, no matter where you go. While you're doing your research on different schools, make sure to take note of what standardized tests they require if there's an option to waive test scores, when their applications open and close, how many letters of recommendation you may need and by whom the letters must be written and other various application requirements. At one point during my admissions process, I booked a weekly appointment at the Career Center to review my application materials. Do not be afraid to use the services provided to you by their office and the College of Business. In closing, remember to keep the big picture in mind. While the process can sometimes feel overwhelming, always remember that it's going to lead you to the next stage of your life and allow you to pursue your passion. Every ounce of the work that you're putting in now will be worth it once you open that first admissions letter. Thank you for listening and make sure to join again next week for another episode of Mentoring Moments.